Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Put it in there. Oh, also, obviously, uh, we're having uh... from Farmville, Virginia, named Oliver Anthony. Come on, guys. His lyrics Look, speak of alienation. Emma's probably going to fall for it. Of deep frustration with the state of government and of this country. Government. Washington, D.C. is about 100 miles north of Richmond. I, I literally, oh, I, they're playing the freaking song. I'm, I'm going to guess that Sam Cedar had a hot take on that song. Um... I uh I gotta support my ginger too. I'm sorry guys. This is this is where we have to divert from from loving each other. That's my ginger people up there. What about wasn't he tweeting pro Biden stuff like three yeah. years ago? He still This is what I'm saying. He's literally not a Republican. <laughs> he just got pulled over to the Republican side because he said something about taxes sucking and welfare being bad. <laughs> you know can't wait till this they open the course. debate with no rich men north of richmond so governor Can you just play the full thing why like is TRL. this song striking such a nerve in this country right now what do you think it means oh boy our country is in decline this decline is not inevitable it's a choice we need to send Joe Biden back to his basement and reverse American decline. Oh, putting fingers coming in hard. We also cannot succeed when the Congress spends trillions and trillions of dollars. Those rich men north of Richmond have put us in this situation. And finally, we need to low. He's literally talking about them. <laughs> Ron DeSantis always talk like this. I don't think he does. Does he? actual troll <laughs> to you as your Three president terms? we will get the job done and i will not let you down swampy oh, Dude, yeah, smile. Smile. I love yeah, smile. Smile. you are up governor DeSantis. so here's the thing why are we in this mess part of it and a major reason is because how this federal government handed covid 19 by okay okay DeSantis needs to take it down like a notch like down one notch because it's like it's like I was saying about Vivek earlier. Sometimes he comes off as like car salesman-ish. Ron DeSantis does not seem like a guy like you would ever be scared of getting mad. Like he doesn't have the dad voice or anything like that. Like him getting mad and talking like this is just not really that effective. Like it's like, dude, th take it down a notch and just like, like speak like normally. And I bet you do a little bit better, big guy. Locking down this economy. Shit, it was a mistake. It should have never happened. And yeah! it's we led the country out of lockdown. We kept our state free and open. Exactly. And I can tell it's you like that, as your president, I will never let the deep state bureaucrats lock you down. You don't take somebody like, like Fauci and coddle him. You bring Fauci in. Who did that? Who did that? Yeah, exactly. Donald Trump did that, Ron DeSantis. Donald Trump did that. It's so weird to me that people forget all of these things. Even on the left, people forget that fucking the COVID vaccine, the the operation time warp was actually donald trump's idea it's one of the few things that i like give him credit for like why do we keep like forgetting things like i, I know i know that it like makes our like opinions seem more solid and stuff but like we don't need to deny things that people do on the other side of us that we're actually like okay or even deny things in our own party that we're not okay to still be right like you can still be honest and be right like I don't know if people get that. I, it just drives me nuts. I'm down, and you say, Anthony, you are fired. <laughs> That's such pussy crap. Yeah. Say his name. Who says you're fired? So Alexander Diaz from Young America's Foundation has a question for you all. Polls consistently show that young people's number one issue is climate change. How will you, as both president of the United States and leader... Dude, this kid is insufferable. I 100% I'm going to say it. This kid is insufferable. If you're any of his friends, <laughs> the Republican Party calm their fears that the Republican Party doesn't care about climate change. So we want to start on this with a, a show of hands. Do you I believe like this. in human behavior is causing climate change? Raise your hand if you do. Look, look we're not school children. Let's have the debate. I mean, I'm happy to take it to start. <laughs> Alexander, so do you want to raise your hand or not? 
think that's yeah. the way to do. So let me just say to Alexander this. First of all, the hands. one of the reasons our country's decline is because of the way the corporate media Maybe, treats Republicans versus idiot. Democrats. Right, Biden was on the beach while those people were suffering. He was asked about it. He said, no comment. Are you kidding me? As somebody that's handled disasters in Florida, you've got to be activated. You've got to be there. You've got to be present. Ron DeSantis is just needs to take it down a notch. I'm telling you, I'm just like having such a hard time taking him seriously. Fucking white rain boots here. Like, that's all I can think about is white rain boots when he talks about how he was there. Like, dude, you picked a fight with Walt Disney. You picked a fight with like the largest fucking like corporation in, in your entire state that has lawyers that are being paid thousands of dollars an hour. And then when you got your ass handed to you by them, you asked them to drop their lawsuit, to which they brought another lawsuit against you. Like, just take it down a notch. One more notch. And just, just, just cool down, bud. You signed a six-week abortion ban in Florida. Uh, one of your biggest financial backers said that you need to, quote, shift that to get moderates or you will lose. What do you say to him and others who say <laughs> politically that is a tough thing to sell nationally? Well, I would say we sold uh, the biggest election landslide victory in the history of the Republican Party in the state of Florida in 2022. That's what I did. We can win. But second of all, look, job, um, you got to do what you think is right. I believe in a culture of life. Uh, I was proud to sign the heartbeat bill. Uh, I remember one of the most impactful moments of my life was when I heard the heartbeat of my oldest daughter uh, in my wife's womb. Oh, God. OK, I was wrong. I was wrong. Ron DeSantis took it down a couple notches and he's t still terrible. Putting fingers is just not like he doesn't bring the charisma, dude. This issue is wrong to allow abortion all the way up to the moment of birth. Wouldn't I know a lady right. in Florida named Penny. She oh, survived Jesus multiple no. abortion attempts. She was left discarded in a pan. Anecdote. Fortunately, her there grandmother 90, saved her and brought her to a different hospital. In the We're first better than what the Democrats are selling. That we are happened. not going to allow abortion all the way up till... Yeah, I actually know all the statistics, so she's actually, yeah, she's she's doing good. Birth, are the medically and we will necessary hold them ones accountable for their extremism. To save but lives. just to be clear, Governor, would you sign yeah, a six-week uh, That's why doctors need to be able to perform them, and there should be no restrictions. I'm going to stand on the side of life. Look, I understand the late Wisconsin thing is, is going to do it different uh, than yeah, Texas. Exactly. I understand hopes. Iowa and New Hampshire are going to do different. But I will support the cause of life as governor and as president. We, we have an important question. But Governor DeSantis, do you believe that Mike Pence Very, did the right yeah. thing on January 6th? So, so here's what we need to do. We need to end the weaponization of these federal agents. But that's, right. not, but the I do that. that's not the question. Here, I, that's I know, not but the here's question. the thing. <laughs> this election is not about January 6th of 2021. It's about January 20th of 2025. He's used this when line the next before. Yes. Is going to take office. I know Garbage. what the Democrats would like to Stony. do. Garbage. We want to talk about all these other issues, but we've got to focus on your future. Like we've got to focus president. on reversing the decline of our country. Right. Right. I learned in the military, I was assigned uh, with U.S. Navy SEALs in Iraq, that you focus on the mission Feeding them above insure. all else. You can't get distracted. So Republicans, we've got Dude, he is definitely one of these people that's fucking, like, lying about exactly what he did. Like, yeah, like she said, feeding them. Like, he was probably like a cafeteria guy. Gotta look forward, and we've gotta make sure Pence. that we're bringing Hi. the message that can win Hi. in Pence. November 2020. Pence. 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 Question. He still hasn't said Trump's name, DeSantis. He, he, he said nothing the there except the for that he States. was think, in Iraq. I, I think the American people deserve to know whether everyone on this stage agrees that I kept my oath to the Constitution that day. There's we, no we more important this. duty. So so they want to hang you, Mike. Thing. I've I've answered this before. So yes. No, I mean, mean, is, he, Mike, Mike did his duty. I got no beef with him. But here's the thing: Is this what we're going to be focusing on I'm relieved. going we forward? Hold. The yeah. rehashing of this? I'll yes. tell you, Governor the DeSantis. Democrats would love that, we and spent, they will win well, if we Governor let him get away. I would like that too, because it's the most important question on the discussion. Let me just say, Governor. That crowd wants them to move on from Trump so bad. They're like, oh my God, anything to not accuse our orange messiah of anything. Yeah, I'll agree with DeSantis not answering a question as long as it means the orange messiah doesn't get into any type of trouble. Let's go. DeSantis, we spent an hour talking about policy. 
Former President Trump is beating you by 30, 40 points in many polls. So it is a factor oh. in the GOP primary. Governor. No, it's not so a territorial as, as dispute either. of the United States, your first. Putting fingers is like, can I talk? Putting fingers like to talk. First obligation is to defend our country and its people. And that means. You're sending all this money, but you're not doing what we need to do to secure our own border. We have tens of thousands oh, wow. of people. We they can can't say, like, invest in the American people. We're not handling well. Well. Repress people. Also, here. Vivek so said I this exact thing earlier. So just yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just not going to send troops genius. to Ukraine, sort of but I'm going to send them to our southern border. He's yelling at somebody, but it's unclear who he's yelling at. Well, that's what you do when you're presidential. That's going to be the last thing they do. We're going to use force, and we're going to leave them stone cold dead. He's not going to move on. On stage. We're going to talk yeah. about China. Okay. He's sort Governor of not Berger. yelling at China the, has the biggest navy in the, the world, questions. the biggest army in the world. Now yeah, uh, Sam Cedar's hitting on the head. This is exactly what I said earlier. He just needs to take it down the notch or two, but even when he took it down a notch or two, he's absolute garbage, too. Stop yelling about shit that, like, first of all, the dude before you already made that point. Now you're just yelling his point. You're just dick riding. <laughs> now they have yelling. Let's go to Governor DeSantis. So, as president, <laughs> would you support sending <laughs> U.S. special forces it was. over the border? He, he had an allergy into rea Mexico allergic to reaction to the hood. Fentanyl labs <laughs> to take out drug cartel operations. Would you support that kind of American This is the anti-war pivot that the Republican use. Party is yes, making. And I will do it. <laughs> invade Mexico. I'm more anti-war than Here's you. The, thing. The, cla the one that they the did almost in the Civil War, like before the Civil War, like, maybe we should invade Mexico instead. That's what's happening. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about a country in decline? You have the cartels controlling a lot of part of your southern border we have to reestablish the rule of law and we have to defend our people our country is not in decline every metric shows that the united states of america is still in an upwards trajectory that's not to say that there isn't issues and things that we should be looking at to fix them because we don't want to deny that they exist we always want to take care of anything that we find that could be a problem however by every metric other than fucking the housing market right now america is back at a trajectory that shows nothing but upwards climb since COVID. like if you look at any chart anywhere on the economy there is a dip in i think it's 82 there's a dip in 2008 and there is a dip in 2020 and then everything else other than that is up if america's metrics were measured in the way that a stock is you would be absolutely stupid to not invest in america because the chart goes nothing but up Governor DeSantis, you would eliminate, you said, the Department of Education. But as president, would you still have a responsibility to fix this crisis as we see it? Absolutely. The decline in education is one of the major reasons why exactly. our country is in decline. We need education in this country, not indoctrination in this country. Yep. And in Florida... Exactly what Florida, we're doing. We for what was right. First, we yeah. had schools Why open during an COVID, and a lot of the problems that we've seen are because Love these lockdowns. How we can't go back to January 21st, but we year. can <laughs> go back that to January. Wrong. We stood up. You know, I took a lot of fire uh, for that. To, I was, uh, to I was December 2020, 2020 I stood yeah. for our kids, and as president, I'll stand for you and your kids as well. But we have to make sure that what our schools are doing is focusing on solid academics. In Florida, we eliminated critical race theory from our K through 12 schools. We eliminated gender ideology from our K through 12 schools. And we have elevated the importance of American civics and teaching our kids about the constitution. So no indoctrination. And rights. None. And as president, I'm gonna lead an effort to increase civic understanding and knowledge of our constitution. We cannot be graduating students that don't have any foundation in what it means to be an American. Notice he hasn't Mr. said, whoa, well, that's not poll testing. That's not, hold on. The increasing civic and con like I learned a ton about the Constitution in high school and before the high before high school like were we not teaching about the Constitution before this like I'm pretty sure we taught a shit ton about the Constitution at least in California schools when I was a child what is that fucking even like 
What are you talking about? Pre testing one. President, Governor DeSantis, well, would you support some mandatory military line. service for Thank all Americans? God. I think it should be voluntary. I'm somebody that volunteered to serve, inspired by September 11th, um, here to watch and I deployed to Iraq uh, alongside U.S. Navy SEALs in places like Fallujah, Ramadi. And it's uh, something that I think has taught me, you know, when you go in that, that type of environment, anything you have, your personal agenda, you check it at the door. You go there, and it's about focusing on the mission above all else. Torturing and guys Muslims. come together, Torturing and they Muslims. get it done. And that's how I would view Oh, being God. the president of the United States. It's not about me. It's not about all these other side issues. Mm -hmm. My Dude, I'm going to admit it. I got a pretty high tolerance from pain, for pain, but if uh if DeSantis was torturing me and he was talking to me while he was torturing me, that shit would last about 30 seconds. I'd be like, "Dude, dude, dude, it's fine. It's fine. What do you want to know? Fucking I'm done. I'm done, bro. Just stop talking to me." Like fucking like, yeah, whatever, bamboo under the fingernails. You're pulling my fingernails off, smashing my toes. All that shit I'm fine with. Just stop talking to me. Since 2004. Governor. This is our time for choosing. This is the big we will finale. send Joe Biden back to his basement and we will reverse the decline our of this country. Choosing? I'm a blue collar kid. That's I work minimum reference. wage jobs to be able to make ends meet. I understand the importance of the American dream and I know how that slipped away from so many millions of Americans. We'll restore it. I'm a veteran who served in Iraq. I know. I don't want to make this last any longer than it needs to, but does anybody else see like the mom in Ron DeSantis? Like, doesn't he have like kind of a mom vibe? I'm not shitting you. Like, it's kind of weird. I know it's weird, but doesn't he have like a little bit of a mom vibe? What it means to put service He's above self. Torture chambers. I'm also a dad, and a husband, as their advocate. six, five, and three year old. I understand I the importance of protecting Trump. parents' rights and the well-being of our children in Florida. We showed it could be done. He like reminds me, I need to find a fucking video or something that matches it. He reminds me of like a mother character on like SNL. Like back when the dudes would dress up as the mom characters, like the old lady on SNL, he just reminds me of her so much. I made promises I'm and I delivered Disney, on all of those promises. Relax. 2024 is make or break. We're not getting a <laughs> mulligan. No excuses. Watch his I will uh, campaign get the job ad done and as your president, I will not let you here. down. God bless you all. Thanks a lot for watching my video. If you liked it, hit that like and subscribe. If you'd like to join the Ginger Army and help support me for only $3 a month, you get to support a soulless ginger. You also get access to the Tantrum Trump and Prison Trump emojis. And don't forget to join me every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific for our live stream with yours truly. Thanks a lot, guys. Love you. Appreciate you. Stay safe out there.